children to grace him. On the day of the feast, we heard St. Paul's epistles. He said to us that the cross is it's, it's foolishness to Greeks, and it's a source of slander to the Jews. And today, brothers and sisters, it's still the case. The Jews or the Greeks saw the cross as foolishness because in all their wisdom and all their great philosophy that it acquired, they couldn't comprehend this God who became a man and would allow himself to die such a gruesome death. They couldn't understand how that would be salvation. That would be the height of human salvation and redemption. And they're all their mind. They use their reasoning. Their reasoning to understand the greater things of this world. And in their fallen state, all of us brothers as we fall in mind, we'll never forget that. They couldn't comprehend what Jesus did on the cross for mankind. So it just sounded foolishness to them. Likewise, the Jews could not understand it was a source of slander. They could not understand that their Messiah would die this way. They could not understand it. They had fixed up their God, the God of the Old Testament, to be a God of laws and commandments, a law of God of anger and retribution who took out his wrath upon people. They couldn't comprehend a God who would love, love beyond, beyond uh, as the highest virtue of all things, love. And so it was a source of slander to the Jews to have a man calling himself the Son of God and would be dying on the cross like a, like a thief. And one other thing today that also is a source of, of slander and hate for the cross, today more so than anything, is the fact that the cross requires us to sacrifice. To sacrifice. We heard it today in the Gospel of Mark that those who would like to follow Christ and indeed had to pick up the cross and follow him just as he went to the cross we have to follow up the same way and that anyone who saves his life will lose it but those who lose their life will save it this is not a message that is easily preached in today's world sacrifice denial obedience to the cross we try to seek an easy life we try to seek the easiest path this is just our human frailty we want what's easy and we want to seek what's good and, and, and pleasurable in our life. But the cross scandalizes today because it requires us to sacrifice and deny ourselves. Deny ourselves. So today, more so than ever, the cross is still not accepted. For all the reasons that it wasn't accepted 2,000 years ago when Paul preached, and same thing today. Because we too have a fallen reasoning <coughs> If we were to go and preach Christ today, in which we try to do our best of ability to a modern day, that we do come up with arguments that it is foolishness. How could this make sense in the light of all the scientific evidence we have? How can man accept the cross as our highest point of redemption and our salvation? How can man accept our, uh, that uh, God who created everything became a human and died? How can man accept that we should deny ourselves everything and sacrifice and not seek what that is easy and pleasurable in life? This is what Christianity comes up against today. And it's a hard thing to preach and accept, brothers and sisters, unless we put the virtue of love before all things. And we understand that Christ was the height of love. He showed us what it meant to love, to actually give himself up for everybody, for in all of humanity. When we fall in love with the Christ man who does it, then the cross is easy to accept. It's simple to accept. We will go to our death for the cross if we accept Christ as our Son of God who came to save us because He loved us more than we can even love ourselves. If we accept that, brothers and sisters, the cross is easy to accept in our lives. Though we struggle with it still. We struggle with it for all the reasons I've laid out here. So, brothers and sisters, today we have to remember that the cross is real. The cross is powerful. It's a symbol of victory. It has brought victory to Christians over and over again, time and time and again. It sends the devil away whenever it's in its presence. It saves us, brothers and sisters. Our very redemption was made on the cross. But we have to be able to deny ourselves. To deny ourselves, because each of us are going to have a cross in our lives that we have to follow. We're going to have many crosses over and over again, over and over again. And we have to embrace it. Father Roman Braga, who's a, a Roman
Romanian priest who died not too many years ago here in America, but he was in, in Romania and he was there during the communist areas in prison. And he would tell he's in one of his quotes is that the cross, Christ did not come to make things easy on us. He did not come to, to make suffering go away. He did not come to, so that we can have an easy life, a happy life. He came so that when we did have our cross, when we do encounter suffering, when we do have discomfort, that it would be meaningful, that Christ's presence would be with us. And so, brothers and sisters, that's what the cross is. It's a reminder of Christ's presence with us, that there's meaning when we suffer. There's meaning when we don't have satisfaction in our life. There is meaning to it. The cross brings meaning to it. So it's a special day that we bring down the cross, we honor it for all that it's done for humanity, but it's also a special day for us to remember that there's hope, and then there's meaning in suffering, and that when we deny ourselves, we are following the footsteps of the God who loves us more than we can love ourselves. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>